Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a European Morning Update. And uh, risk off again this morning uh, across European markets. We're just going to take a quick look at Bitcoin over the weekend. We've now got um, daily uh, 20 24 7, seven, hours, uh, seven days a week uh, trading on uh, crypto assets, as long as you're not in the United Kingdom, of course. Um, and we've had weakness overnight. We're just breaching, we're testing these January lows again on Bitcoin, and that's uh, uh, showing some strong correlation with other risk assets, in particular the, NAS the NASDAQ. Uh, we've had six straight uh, weekly losses for the US markets, and again, it was another week session Friday for the US market. That's followed through into Asia overnight. We've had some soft Chinese uh, trade data, the export numbers down to plus 3.7% from above 14% in March. Obviously, that's to do with uh, a series of lockdowns in some of the key cities, and we've seen a big backlog of container ships around some of the big ports. If you look on some of the satellite images and follow some of the right uh, accounts on Twitter, you'll see uh, a huge backlog of ships around uh, a couple of the Chinese ports, and so that's leading to uh, constrained uh, exports imports. So that's going to have a knock-on effect to the PPI numbers. We've got Chinese PPI numbers out later this week, and that's bound to have an impact on them. Uh, and inflation will be, again, the big story this week with the US CPI print coming up as well. Uh, so lots to look out for in the coming week. Um, there's pressure on the ECB to be raising rates. Now we're going to be hearing from the ECB policymaker Schnabel again. Now she's speaking in Austria, Austria being one of the more hawkish ends of the spectrum. So we think she'll reassert her uh, hawkish credentials. So we could see some uh, more chatter around uh, the ECB hiking rates and that could impact uh, the euro, uh, which this morning is still struggling to find much bid at 105 uh, there, so just sitting around the lows, but look, maybe looking like it might be basing, but equally could be looking like it wants to break uh, a tad lower. 103 is the low from uh, a few years back that we, that we need to consider. Cable is also uh, struggling and taking a fresh low this morning, 122.7. So no respite there for uh, for the pound. And across uh, the European markets this morning, we have seen red across the board, but the FTSE is holding up a bit better than most because oil and gas uh, prices remain elevated. That's it for now. We'll bring you more later.